this meat browning thing. It's weird, but it's awesome. I'm obsessed. Amazon, it's on the list down below. Who's an office fan? Raise your hand. Most of you, yeah, I thought so. Here's your chance to win. Best gift ever. Everyone wishes their relationship was more than like to my band. So, get a green tea bottle. Done. Okay, a little more than that. I prefer a kettle. Some people like teapots. Kettle, you can do everything on the stove. So I've linked both in the list on Amazon down below. But what you need to do next is get a card. Or if kids are still at home, fold a printer piece in half and then have them color it. They always mean more. Have the kids either tell you or write inside their favorite things about mom and then you get vulnerable and you write your favorite things about your wife your memories together, what it means that she is a good mom, all of those things, put that in there. And then if you wanna even more, think of things that aren't gifts that you can put in. Favorite pictures, memories, maybe her favorite lip gloss, or I guess people don't really wear lip gloss anymore. Chapstick. Um, if there was a lotion she wore while you were dating, that always makes you think of her, get some of that. Little things that maybe aren't gifts. Hey, and stick those in there. You win, retire, best gift. End of story. Jim and Pam. If your kids are Lego fans, the next thing is just for you. It's a Mother's Day bouquet with lots of different choices. And you can either have your kids make it and you buy a vase and put them in it so that you could just give her flowers for Mother's Day, but it's a nice special touch that it's something your kids made. Or you guys can do it as a family craft together. On Mother's Day, she gets to help do it. It's something she gets to do spending time with the kids. I don't care how many blankets she has. If she has 20, it doesn't matter. She's always going to want more blankets. Mickey's are cuddly and soft, snuggle up. She'll love it. It's a very trendy thing, and most of them are very pretty guys in lots of different colors. So you can get little ones like this at the grocery store, usually for like 10 bucks, or you can go to meetsandsport.com, and they've got really nice <laughs> ones, they've got silky edges. Check out me. Oh! Pika! Pikachu! Are we being Pikachu now? Pika Pika? Yeah! Or are we, are we saying Pika Boo? Speaking of blankets, chunky knit blankets are super trendy and insta worthy. So if she's an influencer or likes free house, wants to show off what she gets, she'll be able to brag about you. She'll be like, I don't even know how he's ever heard of chunky blankets. Chunky knit blankets, they're great. Pika boo! Pika boo! Speaking of bragging, the next gift is the most expensive on the list. Also, it's the most desirable and it's kind of a gift for you too. Countertop pebble ice maker. You're all gonna enjoy it. And she won't be able to stop bragging. Oh, what'd you do for Mother's Day? She'll say, did you know that Tom, <laughs> Dave, Matthew, whatever your name is, did you know that he got me a pebble ice maker? Now I can have my favorite drinks at home. It's so nice. I can't believe he got me something so expensive. Pebble ice maker. I tried to find medium range with the best reviews. So check out the list below. Hey, can I have a kiss? Now? Uh. I'm hiding in my bedroom for a little bit. Okay. okay. Also, a great thing would be go in your living room, look at the colors of the blankets and the throw pillows, things that she has around, figure out what her colors are for the living room, and then go to Hobby Lobby, get a pack of canvases, any size.
big, small, they have lots of sizes. And then go over to the acrylic paints, pick four colors, okay? Like a white, a neutral, whatever colors match her pillows and her blankets, okay? Those are the colors that she loves. Your kids, each give them canvas, set them down, give them a couple canvases, and don't paint pictures. This is important, don't do pictures. Abstract, just smear. Then she has awesome wall art that's custom made by the kids, and she can put them up however she likes them best. And they will all coordinate together because they'll be the same four colors, and they'll match her living room. Fresh dish towels, whether they're cute and clever or Plain Jane and Saint Free, we all deserve a fresh set of towels. New wooden spoons, tongs, paper spatulas. Willing to bet she hasn't splurged on those in a while. Chocolate. It's very cliche. It's because most women love it. That's true. So, ask around. Here's two recommendations. True fruit chocolate raspberries or the cocoa powder covered almonds. Um, but honestly, you're probably watching this on Saturday night and Mother's Day is in the morning. So, just go to the grocery store, get her favorite drink, and any lint or dark chocolates. And if Legos aren't your thing, but you guys like puzzles, I but some people, they're a puzzle family. Then get a puzzle. If you want to stick with the Mother's Day theme, you can get a thing of flowers. You can probably look up like Van Gogh's sunflowers, Monet's water lilies. Any of those would have puzzles. Or you can look up your favorite vacation. Something that you've all enjoyed and get a puzzle of that. Work on it together as a family. Mm -hmm. Yes, the marshmallow machine. Okay. Go. Take a million. Okay. So we're just gonna power through. It's gonna be messy. Sorry. There's never quiet in my house. What? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The box is over there. Okay. I'm talking now. Okay. I'm doing some working. Ah. Telling people about presents from Mama. Is it yours? Yeah, that is mine. Okay. And I get mine. Oh, Dido wins the marble. Whoa. A butter bell. Even if she's not using it, it's a cute decoration. It looks really cute. Cool. And it's a uh, yeah, sure. And chaos here all the time. There you go. Um, and it keeps your butter soft even in the winter, which is nice. So if you use it, it's really helpful. If you don't, it's really cute decoration. I've got a couple more. Um, charcuterie. Girls fell in love a couple years ago because why wouldn't they? It's cheese and cold cuts and crackers and berries and fancy nuts. I mean, it's all the good things. And there's something for everybody. So if she likes to host parties, get her a nice, beautiful big one. If she doesn't, just get her something small that you guys can share and she can feel super fancy. It's always fun to go pick out some cheese. In. Order HelloFresh. Do it for a week, do it for a few days. But when it comes, you make it. So she didn't have to do any planning, any shopping, any prepping. There are coupon codes all the time. Just check the internet for the most recent. Sorry, that iPad was so noisy. So we came to hide out in a little gardening nook. Got some of my seeds going. And that's our next thing. Window or flower boxes. You install them like that day. And then give her a gift card to a local nursery and garden store. So she can go pick out whatever she thinks is cute. And you do the dirty work. If she doesn't like to garden, you do the dirty work. Gift her a spa experience. I know when I got married and for the first probably six years, a couple kids, I had the same bathrobe, 
to wear while I was pregnant and miserable and smoking around the house that I got when I was 12 for Christmas. So, give her a new silky robe, give her a nice delicious candle. I've got a couple in the link. Also, if you go to Hobby Lobby, here's a bonus tip. Get her a gift card because Hobby Lobby. Um, they have a candle that smells like French toast and they have other candles. Candles, but this French toast one is so good. <laughs> Eat it. Or grab one below if you're an online shopper like we mostly are. Maybe bath salt, face mask. I recommend charcoal or aloe because either it's going to really cleanse her or it's going to be nice and soothing and cool. And then let her just take a hot shower or a bubble bath as long as she wants. Keep the kids away. So it's just quiet, no one banging on the door. There are two types of women. There's a hair woman and a magnolia woman. Let's decide. Does she talk about Joanna Gaines, Fixer Upper, Magnolia, Waco, Shiplap? Is most of your house or your kitchen like white? And is her favorite store Target? If so, she's a magnolia woman. Now the second, that's me. I love Pioneer Woman, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Magnolia Woman, go to Target, get a gift card, or look for anything that's hearth and, um, pick anything. Even if you get something that she's like, not would've, would've not picked, she'll still find somewhere to put it, or she can turn it and get what she wants. She'll just be impressed that you picked something that was Magnolia. So, Go to Target, pick something small, get her a gift card. Honestly, what she really wants is just to go shop. Target all alone. Okay. Second, it's me. I'm a Pioneer Woman fan. So, Reed Drummond, does she like to cook and probably watch this cooking channel? Then she's probably heard of Reed Drummond. Um, does she like floral prints? Does she talk about is her favorite store Walmart. I don't know how to explain it to you. Does she like country? Not farmhouse necessarily, but want to live in the country. All about the cows. Cute little things like that. Barns. That would be Pioneer Woman. Pioneer Woman. I can't even show you a clean one because I'm constantly using them. Again, just go to the kitchen aisle pick something, she'll love it. Or she'll go get what she really wants and you can give her a gift card with it. And it'll just show, hey, I know what you like. Or you can go on to walmart.com and she has a new clothing line with Walmart. You can go and look at their clothing, pick her a shirt. If you don't know the size, ask her. Or look in her drawers and women's clothing is completely, it makes no sense. So. Just look and find the smallest and the biggest of things that she wears, pick the middle or pick the biggest and then she can feel skinny when she tries it on and she's like, oh, I feel so skinny. Because odds are she's not going to look at it and be like, you got this, that, 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 that's big. Because she knows she's that size, she buys things that size. So, she'll be, if it's been a while since she had a night out that was just her, either with the girls or just being alone or with you even, because sometimes it's hard to do babysitters, get an Airbnb or a bed and breakfast, either just for her or for both of you. And if it's for both of you, you take the lead on finding babysitting. You get grandma involved, you pack the bag for the kids if you've got to send them away somewhere. It's really not that hard. Underwear, socks, clothes for the day. One pair of pajamas, an extra of clothes and underwear, depending on how old your kids are if you're being gone for more than one day. And then if they sleep with something special, blanket or a stuffed animal. That's basically all you need, a toothbrush. Really easy, it's not hard. Okay, kitchen mixer, if you don't know which one. I'm gonna do a video on that later this week where I compare like Kitchen Aid versus Bosch versus a cheaper mixer. Uh, so subscribe so you don't miss that. Happy Mother's Day. I hope it goes really well. And I know that she'll love it, no matter what you get her.